could have waited and gone to the ground or press the button even earlier and tried to be preemptive. Mm -hmm. So Absolutely. I think that was a good call. And getting into this next set of winner's quarters, we're going to have John Numbers and Vivi now. I definitely, I was talking to Vivi just a little bit ago and they were like, you know, I definitely would like to not go Lucario because, you know, Lucario, when I, you know where you're playing, you know, John Numbers, John Numbers just, you know, doesn't want to play the game. They want to, you know, play at ledge and just, wow, already at, having Vivi at 118%, excuse me? That's deep breathing Wii Fit. She gets one combo and does 70%. Absolutely. That's, this, this is normal. <laughs> but, I mean, didn't Vivi have bounce or like, was that, that was just too fast. My so, ass could not like so keep up. Vivi did have bounce. Uh, John went for header, hit with the header hitbox, but then the volleyball, soccer ball uh, bounced back and hit John. Uh, so John still did a damage. It was technically a trade, uh, a self trade to get some damage up there. Absolutely. And the kind of thing that I want to point out is that, you know, uh, we do have another resident um, hero here, um, Silvio. The kind of difference that I like from those two is that, you know, Vivi really does to, like, play ledge trapping game, you know, although, you know, you know, that's kind of where John wants to be. Whenever you, you're able to have such a good ledge trapping skills, you kind of just avoid dying early. However, we are going to have, you know, Vivi die at that percent, making it very even. We're at dead even percent, zero. Never mind, I lied. I'm sorry. <laughs> We're going to see mm -hmm. John that numbers. Was, that was 70% off one interaction. Deep breathing, we fit. Well, technically we're at 69%, however, we're, we're past the 70% mark. <laughs> you know, we're definitely gonna get more of just VV being at a very high percent. Definitely get that heal, so now we're at 100%, however, you know, this is where we need to see, you know, VV kind of put on a lot of the damage. Very nice call out on the roll right there. And we're just, hopefully, we're gonna have two, I think we that was Accelerado and Oomph. That's definitely what we can see um, to help, you know, make, help Vivi make the comeback right here, right now. I mean, mm -hmm. you know, this is kind of, kind of crazy. Interestingly enough, these characters somewhat have a similar game plan of uh, make the space that they need using uh, potentially very rewarding aerials and moves. Um, then lighting yourself up like a Christmas tree and going to town. Um, but we see it a little bit of different ways. We see Vivi sort of climbing center stage, uh, trying to push John away, and then John resetting to ledge, as is the numbers classic. Now, can we talk about that? Because that was Oomph, and I forgot what the other one was called, but John still uh, psych that. No, psych up? That was <laughs> Oomph and Psych up at the same time, and John still killed. You know, or, or we're not killed. Vivi still, like, was able to get that down air, and then just never mind, I lied. I'm so sorry. <laughs> we're already gonna get, you know, Vivi taking that stock, and I definitely love that Vivi has been able to take a lot of these stocks most of the time, even though Vivi might not be in the lead. I lied. <laughs> again, again, <laughs> we're already, this is so even. If I'm gonna be completely honest, there's no <laughs> even point in just talking about, like, anything at this point. We're already seeing just, this game is being just brought to such an even pace, and, you know, that's kind of crazy. <laughs> it, it's, it's very explosive because even if neither of these characters have their buffs up and have their crazy stuff up, they have a lot of uh, very quick explosive options that you got to be mindful with. Hero side B and neutral B. We fit with the header across the stage. The sun salutation that can be shield canceled so then it can be sent out. You can wave bounce with it. Um, so it's very tricky to keep both these characters down, which you want to because then they get their win condition. But uh, even without it, they're still scary. Absolutely, and I definitely want to take note of that deep breathing cancel, and we, you never really see people cancel deep breathing, and we just saw that, and John went for the up air, but I mean, it isn't even better right now. Gonna go for that call out on the jump right there. That's the second time that John has actually called out a jump from BB, and just gonna F tilt, do the tree pose on, you know, Hero. I'm sorry, we in the yoga studio, you are not allowed to play this children's party game in my studio. Mm -hmm. I don't know what you what you doing in my studio playing <laughs> freaking Dragon Quest like with the little what are those little the um little squishy things that uh, they have? I can't remember if they're slimes or oozes. I think they're slimes. We're gonna call them slimes. You're not mm -hmm. allowed to bring these dirty slimes <laughs> into my studio. My my yoga studio. Absolutely not. John, I don't know. Anyways. <laughs> yeah. No, it's a, it's a very strong option to go for because I think that F-Tilt is relatively unpunishable and it's not uncommon for John to just F-Tilt and then do it again. Absolutely, because why aren't you going to use the move that's really good? Hello? Like, that move is crazy, but I'm definitely hoping that we can see a little bit 
a little bit more grounded movement from BB because you know when it came to like a high a lot of high percents it's not one of the best things that you kind of need to do in order to just kind of approach John like in the air you know with Accelerado you kind of just like run around like a little kid and mm. then just like you know be like hi I'm in your face now what are you gonna do like that kind of throws John a little bit in for a loop because John has been reading a lot of the jump callouts however just gonna get that very nice weight bounce that looks so clean like all the way from ledge two, just like mm -hmm. all, all that but however um, you know, this is definitely where we're going to need to see Vivi uh, just be very careful because they aren't fast anymore. <laughs> they don't go mm -hmm. supersonic speed. Yeah. I'm gonna, <laughs> yeah. there, there, there's a big ebb and flow of, oh, who has the buff? Does Hero have bounce? Does Hero have the speed buff, the damage buffs? Does Wii Fit have sun salutation? Does she have deep breathing up? That creates a lot of back and forth of, okay, I'm the weak one now. I need to show a lot of respect, and then I need to get my win condition back up. Absolutely, and right here, what we're seeing is Vivi just trying to go for that, so, you know, Vivi doesn't want not none of it no more. He, he just he just wants John dead, and we're already seeing that, you know, gonna go for the thwack, and then immediately air dodge, and then it was like, ah! Like Toad! I mean, <laughs> complete, just, what? That's so crazy. And uh, gonna get that zoom too, and we're gonna be completely honest, John already called that out. He knew that's exactly where he was gonna end up. I'm sorry, that was a little bit too much of a call out for me. Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah, no, the side B covers uh, a lot of different zoom angles, I think, um, and it's pretty safe to do. Plus, on head, uh, I think Sun Salutation, the option was go for deep breathing or try to catch it with uh, volleyball. So, there's two very good ways to spend the time when zoom is being used. And something that just happened a little bit ago was that we saw, you know, BB actually cover, you know, the ledge with up B, and that's so good. And like, I definitely think we need to see a little bit more of that because, you know, it actually makes it a little bit easier, if I remember correctly from what I've been told, um, to force people to buffer an option when you go for that, mm -hmm. you know, off stage. Yeah, it's uh, it's very big. It's huge and covers a lot of space. And the full charge does a lot of damage. And then the low charge on stage is also potentially useful for a ledge trap because it's still decently big. It's quite fast. It gets Hero out of there with a hitbox. Um, so if Vivi wants to, it can be a relatively low commitment ledge trap. Oh, I guess wrong. Upbeat back out. Opponent gets sent back out. Guess again. Oh, and we're going to see that down air right there, but I definitely love the way that BB was playing. BB was playing super grounded, and they definitely need to be very careful. Very nice turnaround and just grab because they knew John was just going to stay in shoot. And that's exactly what they did. They got that grab, and then now we're going to see, you know, BB kind of pressuring John a little bit because this is a very scary percent for Wii Fit. She can't be calling out jumps no more because if she does, she's going to get hit with an up tilt. I'm so sorry. I mean, like... Is, is is honestly very scary, but this is what we're gonna see. We're gonna see John go immediately right back to ledge and then just like do John's thing. John gotta do what John gotta do if he gotta do what he gotta do just to do what he wants to do. You know what I mean? <laughs> yep, it's it's rough too because John, if uh, Vivi doesn't have bounce up, there's a lot of options like we saw the uh, header volleyball onto stage follow that in. Uh, with deep breathing up, that's very scary. You have empty jumps, you have the wave bounces. It's very difficult to guess what the recovery option will be from Wii Fit. Absolutely, and I definitely love, uh, just want to make note of that, that the the kind of adaptions that BB has made right now, honestly, you know, before it was very much more of an even game, but we're like two stocks up already, and this can be very, very scary. Four John Number is gonna get that roll called out just like that, and then, you know, we're at the ledge, and then, you know, we're stopped down. This is, this is kind of just crazy, if we're gonna be completely honest. Mm -hmm. All right, the bounce is up. That'll be particularly helpful for trying to counter any uh, projectile wars that John is willing to wage. Absolutely. And honestly, I think we just need, like, a few good, like, oomphs and um, psych-ups. And then I think we could definitely see a very scary, you know, game for John Numbers. Even with, um... Z I, for I, I, I remember seeing the name. I think it's the Paul or Zapple. Anyways, mm -hmm. um, <laughs> I think it's Zapple. It's Zapple? Maybe. Yeah. Not me being bad with words. Anyways. It's all, they're made up <laughs> words. I think it's forgivable. <laughs> Wait, so you can make up words and then it be actual words? Oh, wow. <laughs> Anyways, if I would have known that, maybe I would have made up a few of my own words. <laughs> Anyways, we're going to see BB lose that stock. And 
we gotta pray. We gotta pray to the house of 3000 that, you know, John does not make this comeback. Because then that would be immediately two games down, and we're already seeing what I had just mentioned. I'm so sorry for calling it out. It's it's the commentator's curse for me. Yep. Oh. I like. <laughs> yeah, that's a tricky spot to be in, too. Um, with how fast Hero can get across the stage, it's very easy to set up these half stage. Uh, hey, do you want to air dodge right now? How ready are you for this? And if they do air dodge, you often have times to land and go for a separate option. And if there's no air dodge and you swung, they're dead. That's what happens when you swing. If you swing, you're going to get swung on, and then you're going to die just like that. Absolutely. <laughs> um, but for sure, getting into this next game, that, that was kind of scary. You know, John was down most of that time. And since we are in best of five, you know, games here, we're definitely going to need to see a lot more adaption from a lot of these people. I mean, from these two people. I don't know why there was a lot of people when there was mm -hmm. only a few. Well, there's four separate heroes, you know. Kind of counts. Absolutely. <laughs> um, but for sure, we're going to see just a very even game already. Um, you know, it's just what it is. It's even until, until as you said, we fit gets, you know, deep breathing. And then all of a sudden, you're already at like 100%, mm -hmm. you know. No disadvantages that good that you're gonna get out of that. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> yeah, it's it's difficult because I think when these two are playing neutral, Wii Fit has a little bit of the slight edge in terms of commanding space. Because if Hero wants to control the space, it's committal. No matter what aerial you go for. Um, so that's why you see a lot of heroes jumping back to use their aerials. And when you jump back to give space, you give John space to set up deep breathing. But then we see Vivi set up his buffs, and then it's a huge swing in power. But it's harder for him to get those up. Absolutely. And the kind of thing is, I kind of just love that Vivi is playing very patient right here. I mean, like, it doesn't look as patient as it does. But to me, like, I really love that Vivi is still taking the hits that he actually needs in order to, you know, kind of make this an even game and that's exactly what Vivi has been doing and gonna go for that um you know F till it's a up till and then again with the up till and we're dead. Goodbye. Absolutely not. Um but for sure that was also a really nice call out from you know John. Yep and it was uh again perhaps because of the uh the power swing there we saw John land go oh shoot I gotta respect this because I could die here and the spot dodge which Vivi was ready to punish. Because again, the ball was in Vivi's court at that point because you've got the damage buffs up, you've got the control. Absolutely, and for sure. We already see John being a little bit more patient. I mean, not patient, a little bit more aggressive maybe? I mean, when he's not trying to be on the ledge, just a little bit, you know. I, d I definitely could have seen, you know, Zon, uh, John, like, looked like if he didn't, if he didn't get that, you know, near that fair that, you know, he saw immediately, he was just going to be like, okay, this is exactly why I stay at the ledge. You know, <laughs> I try to get my hit and I get it. And then this, this is where we're at. <laughs> you know, this is, this is where we be. This is where we stay. I, mm, <laughs> I don't think so. I, I don't think I want to be anywhere else anyways, <laughs> for sure. Um, you know, kind of just doing what John does best. We're going to see a little bit of, you know, charging, you know, sun salutation and, you know, hitting the header and then the deep breathing until, you know, John can get back to stage and then, like, kill his opponent. So um, we just need to wait until that's over. Then maybe we can play the game. <laughs> yeah, it's... um. I believe he was waiting out, I can't ever remember which one is the timed one and which is a single hit, but he was waiting out, uh, I'm going to just say it's psych up, uh, psych up on that one because getting clipped by that is scary and staying at the ledge does open yourself up to get smacked by that, um, but making a commitment to go back to the stage could still result in getting smacked and still dying anyway, so John opting for the safe stop, using the invincibility of the ledge to try to time that out and return to a potentially more advantageous position. Um, absolutely, for sure. And something that I would also like to see from Vivi is to actually charge a little bit more of his fire. I forgot what that was called, too. There's too many names. There's too many made-up names. I think Fireball is fine. Honestly, neutral B Fireball. Uh, like yeah, that. we're just going to call it Fire. <laughs> um, and we're just going to say that I feel like he needs to just charge it up a little bit more because right now he does have really good ledge trapping, and he's just really good at ledge trapping altogether. However, if we kind of want to see, you know... 
um, Vivi make a lot more kills off of his ledge trapping situations, we need to see him use all the options, not just, you know, a B maybe once here and there, and maybe like an up air, like he's gonna get right there to take that stock. But we also need to see, you know, Vivi go for just a little bit more instead of just charging and then not really doing too much with it. Because I think we only seen it be used once. And then speaking of big balls of things that just go right into your face, that's gonna be some salutations taking that game. So right now we're at a 2 1, you know, game right here. Mm -hmm. Yes, we are. And I think it's important. There was a really important interaction back there of when Vivi went for the grab at ledge, because that's the big thing, right? Is that when John is doing this back and forth ballet dance on the ledge, it's very tempting to be like, oh, you know, I can go off stage. I can edge guard this. I can get some damage in. But if you mess up or if your read is a little mistimed or if you haven't chosen the correct option, we saw John come off ledge and do something like 30, 40 percent. Um, Absolutely. So even though Vivi got the stock off of that, that trade could have potentially cost the game overall. It's very scary to, even if you want to try to chase a stock, to eat damage like this all at once. You know, that was a little bit, I don't even think that was true if I'm going to be completely honest. Um, from what I remember, like, that's kind of just a thing where if you miss that tech, then it's just like, you know, you're eating up, you're eating a bit of damage right here, but it doesn't even matter because you have Accelerado and we're kind of just going to see, you know, just almost die like we saw right there and just like wow uh bb is looking a little bit you know kind of just like they kind of want this game you know they don't want to to lose you know to one they want to they want to win like 3-0 at this point like they're playing like they want you know to kind of just take this game all together mm-hmm um, and we see again back there as well, Vivi going for the Thwack on stage. Very big hitbox on that, potentially very rewarding at a higher percent, a high chance of the instant kill. Uh, the miss gets the four tilt in the back, knocked off stage, and put in a very dangerous situation while eating a ton of percent for it. It's very scary to try to uh, get a ledge trap or edge guard on John with a big commitment. And that definitely looked a little bit scary because, you know, Vivi went for the, you know, F tilt. The ball hit Vivi, and then, you know, since John was still parrying, like, he, if he would have just been a little bit more just, like, cognizant of that, he would have, like, definitely done something. But speaking of cognizance, you know, Vivi wasn't aware that, you know, that's exactly... I don't think he had any... Um, uh, MP, so that's exactly why, you know, he didn't really get hit with yeah, anything. Yeah, there was so. the uh, the little MP, the like the ding. Um, but yeah, it was it was a rough spot to be in. I mean, honestly, but, you know, speaking of rough spots, you know, that was going to be John in the corner getting hit with um, Zapple and then just dead at this point. I mean, you know, Vivi is still making this very even, although, you know, he does have 40% on them. John is at the ledge where John likes to be. And, you know, we can definitely see just Vivi kind of trying to make sure that whenever, you know, he gets back to ledge at some point, mm -hmm. that he can kind of just, you know, take John for a loop. I mean, they need all the damage that they can get at this point because, you know, Vivi's at 99%. You know, not going to die entirely to that downer just yet, but, you know, that was something that happened previously. And, you know, getting a little bit of the movement, we love that. It's a little bit of movement, not going to get that... Um, up tilt because they were looking for you know what John wants to do. Ga John gave the, the, the um, how do you say? No, the air dodge, sorry. Um, and just wow, we're kind of like we're kind of just a little bit scary here because this is kind of where we're gonna see you know John just do the thing and so he gets deep breathing and then he kills you know BB. Yep, it's very scary. We're seeing a lot of options from Vivi that are not too deep into the ledge. We saw the spaced out forward air. We saw the run up jabs, honestly, were more committal than a lot of the stuff. And we even saw previous punishment for that. But um, Vivi sort of making space and then building bounce, which is really helpful in this matchup, especially when you have uh, we fit at the ledge. Absolutely, and for sure, right now, that was a very poorly used of grab right there. I mean, Vivi. That, I, I think it was more that just that VV was like, kind of like, okay, I want you to like, go like off stage, <laughs> you know, even though that's where you want to be. Like he kind of just grabbed and then, you know, since, you know, it was deep breathing, it's just going to be one of those things where it's just like, you can't really try and punish things like that, you know, are just like that good because like that F tilt, that F tilt is, it, it do be scary. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And we saw the, um, gosh, which was it? Snooze? Like, no, 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 um, not the snooze, it was something, uh, never mind. It was something about deep breathing, but I've since forgotten, but we've got to focus on this. Absolutely, and for sure, um, it's a little bit even now, and I definitely like that, um, so for sure, um, 
Ooh, gonna get hit by that Sun Salutation and gonna get bounced, but it doesn't matter because, you know, at that point, it's just like, you're dead. Because John went for that dash attack, John got the dash attack, John killed with the dash attack, and that was all he wrote. Uh, that very nice 3 1 victory. Yep. And I think another interesting thing about this matchup is that the chase is particularly strong with Hero when you have Accelerattle up. Again, just those jump at you. Hey, are you going to uh, air dodge or no? Are you going to catch this 50 50 or no? But John, as we saw there with the header, the volleyball going out there, even with bounce up, John has time to come back to stage, go back out again, continue the edge guard, mm -hmm. um, especially with deep breathing up and that extra speed boost afforded. So it's a scary place to be on both sides. I think Hero, especially Vivi, we saw a great use of the side B, the lightning on that, because how that works is it initially sends out like a little hitbox and then the lightning bolt comes down and sort of spreads out. Uh, that can hit projectiles. So if the soccer ball is out there in the middle between the two of them, the lightning comes down on the soccer ball, still hits John. So we saw a lot of that spacing out from about roll range to try to catch things like a jump, a header back onto stage, you know, potentially aggressive options to get in uh, with very relatively little commitment, but you burn through MP doing that. So mm -hmm. he can't do it forever. He's got these very strong tools, but he has to choose between his resources. Does he want to try to buff up? Does he want to try to go for Accelerado bounce, uh, the damage boost? Does he want to try to space out with this lightning? Does he want to try to threaten with fireball? Um, has a lot of choices and decision-making that go into that.